Here are 16 electric vehicle, solar energy, wind energy stories from the past week. Enjoy! University of Pennsylvania A solar leader, Ivy League School University of Pennsylvania is going solar in a big way. Two solar power plants to power its massive and highly regarded educational and healthcare facilities have been built, using 485,000 solar panels for a combined 220 megawatts of power capacity. Shell dumping gas stations for EV charging future, Shell made a big splash last week with the announcement that it would sell 1,000 fuel retail locations and put its money into new EV charging stations. About 500 of the gas stations will be closed in 2024 and 500 in 2025. EV chargers will be installed at all of its remaining stations. Hello and welcome back to EV's Queen, thank you for subscribing us. We provide the most recent and updated news about electric mobility every day. We're thrilled to introduce three unique membership levels on our channel, Circuit Squires, Tesla Knights, and Volt Sovereigns. Each level offers its own set of exclusive perks and content, perfectly suited for your passion for electric vehicles. As a member, you'll play a vital role in supporting our mission to deliver 12 engaging video updates daily about the latest in the electric vehicle world. Your membership not only helps sustain our efforts, but also brings you closer to the heart of the EV community. Mexico EV sales grow 94%, the Mexican electric vehicle market is rising, with 94% more EV sales in 2023 than in 2022. 19,487 EVs were sold in the country, 1.3% of the country's total auto sales. There's still a long way to go. EV share in USA climbs up, 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 just north of the border, EV adoption in the US is much higher, but we were at the same level as Mexico five years ago. A recent report showed how EV market share in the states has climbed up, up, up in recent years, contrary to the current hype around sales, dropping at the moment. EV battery prices to fall, 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 sales have risen a lot, but we're just getting started. EV battery prices are projected to fall significantly in the next couple of years, which should bring down electric vehicle costs, which should drive up electric vehicle sales. And the revolution rolls on. EV market share in 17 countries, it may be exciting to see US EV market share rise up year after year, but we're still far behind many other markets, specifically China and a bunch of European countries. Wind turbines don't hurt property values, there is so very little one can complain about when it comes to wind turbines. They are not smokestacks or nuclear power plants spewing pollution into the air or bringing great risk to the region. But one thing that's been claimed for years is that they hurt property values because they ruin the view. Turns out, that's wrong. Rivian vehicles can now use Tesla superchargers. EV towing, there's a lot of content out there now about towing with a Tesla Cybertruck, and there's also a great account of a couple towing coast to coast with a Volkswagen ID.4. For the towing curious, these should be interesting, or even to those like me who have no interest in towing. Thanks to Jennifer Sensaba for bringing these stories to more people and summarizing them so well for us. Unrealistic EPA range. Jennifer also did a great job digging into why EPA range is overly optimistic and how that problem could be fixed. Hopium Hydrogen Motorcycle This is a fun but also quite a disappointing matter, it turns out some people are still convinced hydrogen is a great fuel option for small vehicles, like motorcycles. It's not, and hopefully the Hopium bike we recently got pitched will not trick anyone into believing the future of motorcycles is hydrogen. Tesla Stock's Future Tesla has been the standout winner in the stock world over the past decade, especially in the auto world. However, that big stock boom may have run its course. The stock has been tumbling all year, and it's actually hard to make a case for why it should rise again. Cheaper Tesla coming in 2025, that's not to say Tesla won't keep changing the world. And one key way it's expected to keep shaking up the auto industry, growing, and cutting emissions is via the coming cheaper Tesla. Word on the street is that we'll go into production in 2025. We'll see. Thanks for watching.